I'm starting with $200 and turning it into over $28,000 trading options. And I'll be doing this by growing my account 10% each week. Here are the rules. Can't risk more than 30% of my account per trade. At the end of each day, any money over the weekly goal is to be banked and put to the side should I need it for the future. Odds are I will. It helps keep me from getting too greedy. And last but certainly not least, have an entry and exit plan for every trade I take. If this is the first episode you're seeing, I highly recommend you click on the card above right here and start from the beginning. And now without further interruption, let's get to it. It is time to take on week four. The goal for our account this week is to hit 293, increase our account by 10%. Here we are looking at the handy Daniel Robin Hood. And as you can see, we are sitting at 267.87, just under $267 buying power. Once again, our goal is to have our buying power at 293 by the end of the week we we have done it once again all right so here we are back in the handy dandy robin hood and as you can see on the day we are up 12.26 percent uh we still have 112 dollars buying power and the market's actually doing some pretty good falling right now Kind of makes me wish I held my trades, but what I'm focused on most is getting my 10%. So real quick, I said today we needed to have $293 in brokerage cash. So that means we will have $6.68 going to the bank. And now that I've spoken about that, let's take a look at the trades I took today. The first trade that I took today was actually on the QQQ. And today the QQQ did this thing where it waited for me to close my position before it made the move that I wanted it to make. All right. So if we look at it, uh, we can see I bought a put on the QQQ for $40 and sold out at 32 for a loss of $8. I bought into the contract 33 minutes into market open. There was some news being announced today and I sold out about 40, 45 minutes later. So nothing special there, but yeah, we lost $8 on this trade. So this was my trade plan for QQQ. And honestly, I was going to take profits right here. Let me drop down to the 15. All right. So when I was in the trade, it was in this time frame. And it was doing all this sideways trading up here. And, you know, I sell out, of course, probably in this area. Or I sell out like right here at this red line. Uh, probably like right here. Yeah, right here at 415. And then looks like 30 45 minutes later it decides it just wants to sell off massively it'll probably end up coming down here to like my overall target but hey it is what it is and then the next stock i traded today was tesla so today bought a 187.50 put for 114 and sold out for 155. i bought the put an hour and 16 minutes in the market open Pay 114 and I sold out of the put about 30 minutes later. This was one I definitely expected to keep going down, but when I looked at the portfolio, I noticed, hey, we are sitting above that 293 I said we need to be at. So I was like, let me not get greedy. Let me take profit. Yeah, that's what this is right here. Now to check out the chart on Tesla. So looking at Tesla's chart, uh, I got in about right here and then I sold out right here at this red line. And then as you can see, Tesla is still chugging on down and I would be so far ahead on this challenge, but that's not really what it's about. I want to take this time to like speak on how grateful I am for the journey I've been on and how glad I am that, you know, this challenge is almost seeming too easy to me right now on the fourth week. It really right now I look back at the last two times I took the challenge and almost don't know how I failed, but in reality I know how I failed. At this point in the challenge I'm feeling quite confident in my trading strategy and my ability to make it throughout this challenge. I don't know. To all the haters in the comments and uh, I actually think we're pretty good. This is a pretty positive community. Don't see too much hate in the comments. But to those of you who said, yo, it's not possible, keep watching. I think I may have this in the bag. Interested in learning how I make these trades? Be sure to check out this playlist right here. Ready to watch the next video? If it's out, it's right here. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.